All right, I'm gonna do a pack dump. This is what we, um, we're, we went in several miles. This was a new area. So this is an ultra lightweight, um, kind of a gear list for me. I, I left some things out that I might normally bring. Uh, we didn't know what we were getting into. So again, I went pretty Spartan. So this is my lucky hat. This really has nothing to do with anything, but this is important because I, I guide with this hat. So when people ask if they should shoot, it says drop bombs across the front. So I just point at that. Um, and it's lucky. This is a six liter uh, MSR drum light bladder. This is an iPhone 12, but this is a zero lemon charger. Uh, everybody makes fun of it. But what I use, I did not bring my solar power battery pack or my solar charger, but I'll bring that solar charger. And then this thing's like 300% of my battery life, my normal battery life. So this zero lemon, although I could kill a bear with it, is uh, super handy. And it's an iPhone 12. Uh, this is the new harness from marsupial gear. Uh, I'd have a obviously a rangefinder on normally, but I've got uh, Swarovski NL Pures in here. In here, I just have fire starter, backup headlamp, MSR Aqua Tab, just crap like that. In the front of this, this is where I keep my Taito knife, um, blades, things like that. The Taito knife, this is the one they made. Um, I think this was off my recommendation. This is the Kafaro edition, but it fits in the front. Got a few extra blades. This here is kind of a piece of uh, crap. I don't know what it is. Gorilla Pod, I think. I use this for my cell phone. When we go to set up camp, I'll do time lapses with this. It just helps if I'm going to take any pictures. Um, you can beat the crap out of it. It's like 29 bucks. This is not a piece of crap, and you don't want to break this. This is the compact. Uh, tripod from outdoorsman i don't have the uh up post for the nl pure so this is an attachment they have so i can glass with my binos uh but again that's the compact and the uh the pan head from outdoorsman uh right now this i have is a leica 82 millimeter this will get swapped out during season for a 65 uh swarovski i'm waiting corbin got me ordered me one it, it was actually showing up today as we left so i'll probably run that 65 millimeter i have a 115 as well but i'm too much of a wimp to pack that bad boy in and, and this light is super super nice and this is a marsupial gear case i use the long rail for uh like weight adjustment on the tripod um, for any of the bigger spotters from outdoorsmen this is just a beanie hat this is the new one from kifaru This is my bowler's hat that makes fun, Frank makes fun of me for. But I may look like a dipshit, but it does cover my ears from uh, getting sunburned. So when I'm glassing when the sun's out, I try to have one of these. I like it. It's got orange here. It's not a huge panel or anything. But if I need to mark something, I can just flip it inside out. Don't be laughing, Frank. This is the Canon G5 Mark II point and shoot camera. I took this because I didn't want to pack my big camera gear in. And we have David. So I didn't need to. I got two extra batteries in there. Uh, that G5 or the Sony RX100 is what I suggest for a point and shoot. This is my wallet because I'm a dumb shit and brought it with me. This is a Princeton Tech Remix 300 lumen headlamp. Garmin 701 uh, GPS wristwatch thingy dingy. This is a Phoenix 6 Solar. I probably don't need to bring both of these, but I actually, if I actually have to navigate, it sucks the battery up super fast on this, so I always have that with me. Sunto M9 Compass, I do have that with me all the time. This is actually full of uh, pre-workout and electrolyte mix. Uh, it's just like a funnel, uh, and I bring enough for the amount of days I'm going in, and it's basically 250 milligrams every morning when I wake up, or maybe half of that, and I'll take more later. But it's just a funnel, and then this thing unscrews it super handy as far as just putting it in my analogy not making a mess these are just sitka leather gloves doesn't get super cold right now most important thing i have copenhagen i brought four cans for three days because i chew too much there's two of them here's a cord for my battery pack for my phone 
in this simple butt wipe and wet wipe. In here is a big, uh, or excuse me, a big Agnes three wire bivy sack. And then the new, we're not out with it yet, prototype Cuban fiber tarp. It's a 10 foot by 10 foot Cuban fiber tarp. And I think it weigh 11 ounces, is that? Yeah, 11 ounces, somewhere in there. Um, don't quote me on that shit and come up and say we screwed on the weight. That's my memory is 11 ounces, it's around that. And then the bit three, Big Agnes three wire bivy. Uh, the reason why with the bivy, it's just more versatile. We didn't know what we were getting into. Um, we, you know, as far as whether we're in a camp and deer beds, we never been in here before. So the bivy tarp combo made sense. This is food. And then I have, this is an ever new titanium pot. And then I have a Soto Windmaster stove. Again, I usually bring the MSR reactor on holy shit, like 14 day trips. It'll never let me down. This is a two to three day trip, maybe four at the most. If this went down, I'm not gonna die. I got enough food without dinner. Um, if you wanna check out uh, the video for food, check out Kafaru Cast uh, on how we do our food. We did a big video on that the other day. This is just a Sitka, I guess this would be a core heavyweight crew hoodie, but it's the duck hunting version. I don't know what the hell they call that, but it's the same thing basically. I brought two uh, shirts. I didn't know how wet it would be, and this doesn't weigh anything. This is a lightweight, and I just bring this to basically for sun. Um, I have a non-camo, non-hunting version, but I couldn't find it, so I, I brought that one. Yeah, and that's literally just to get sunburnt. For not getting sunburnt. This is that new lightweight rain gear from Sitka. Rain cover. More chew. This is just a little uh, light, super lightweight ditty bag and it's got uh, socks and underwear and this is just an MSR bath towel, chamois thing. This is my possibles pouch. Inside in here is extra contacts, migraine pills, uh, knife cord, all the crap like that you would need. Um, I've got some extra batteries, just the normal stuff. This goes with me wherever I go, if we take off for the day or not. And then that's in that organizer possibles pouch I think is what we call that this is a 30,000 milliamp anchor battery pack I probably didn't need this much but I figured if this guys end up need these guys ended up needing it um, and it didn't hurt me to pack the extra weight that'll charge my phone probably 10 to 12 times just an extra t-shirt this is a pillow um, I think X bed makes this yeah this is probably the most comfortable lightweight pillow I found um, it's literally like laying on a little bag of heaven. Um, my extra, the, the poles for my three wire bivy, 20 degree slick bag. I'm not sure what the hell they call this. I knew it wasn't going to be too cold. If it was going to be super cold, I would have brought the, like the lost park parka. It's not super cold. This is super lightweight. This is a down hoodie, um, puffy jacket from Sitka. And then this is an x bed sleeping pad. Um, the only thing that I didn't talk about is my, my cleaning kit for my toothbrush and contact solution, stuff like that. Um, yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, water bottle and some bug spray. So again, that's for a lightweight trip. I'd change a few things out if it was longer or we knew where we were going. I, I just wasn't too worried about the shorter trip if my stove went down or anything like that. All right, guys, we are up here mule deer scouting and we're doing a bit of a gear dump. Um, Aaron just did his video. He's running the Nargali pack. I have a doll pack set up with a guide lid and a few belt pouches. I have a medium belt pouch on the lid here, medium on the bag, and then a large down below on the bag as well. Um, so I'll kind of go through my gear and show you what I got. So on the hike in, I used a set of Black Diamond Carbon uh, FLZ, it looks like, what they're called. Trekking poles. We just filled up our water bladders. This is an MSR Drome Light six liter, and we'll get into the bag. So this is exactly how I had it packed when we packed in. Um, I'll strap the spotter and tripod connected to each other to the back so I can get to it quickly, but I'll start from the top and work my way down. So in this pocket, typically what I put in here is glassing equipment. Um, so I have my platform, this is a Swarovski platform for the binos 
I have this little attachment. It is a phone cam that will attach to my phone, and I can attach that to my binos or the spotter. And then I have a, a small ultralight pullout. What I keep in here is the Garmin InReach, a battery pack. This one is a uh, dark energy. And then I have in there, you can see, just an iPhone charger. Inside the lid, got some camera gear. So I have the uh, A7R3 with a um, 35 millimeter lens, got the camera strap and just kind of a little soft case here for it. I got a spare lens in here. This is a 18 millimeter wide angle lens inside of a, a dry sack. I had it wrapped up in this little knee brace that I brought just in case my knee was feeling a little sore. Bag. <laughs> um, I got a, a small dry sack. I'll throw the camera in there if it starts raining. So I always keep that in the lid with the camera gear. Um, same ring gear Aaron has that ultralight stuff from Sitka, soon to be released. That's everything for the lid. And cool thing about this doll and the Nargali pack is it kind of has this little uh, strap here that's sewn in. It kind of looks like a handle, not really meant to be a handle. It works great for putting your tripod through there and holding everything in place. I use the over the top strap to lock the spotter in place, but I have the spotter and tripod strapped to the back with one strap and it goes through this little loop here. So I'll take that out. This is a Zeiss 95 millimeter with a Gitzo tripod. All right, so in these pockets here, start with the top one. This is where I'll usually keep gloves, beanie, and face mask. So just got a pair of lightweight gloves. I think those are outdoor research. Far face mask. Faro Merino beanie. I'll throw my headlamp in there. I'll either keep my headlamp in this pocket here or I'll keep it in that top pocket on the lid. Oh, this is a black diamond icon. Alright, next pocket. This is typically where I'll keep my toiletries. So I got a medium ultralight pullout. This has toilet paper wipes, contact solution, uh, toothbrush, toothpaste, and hand sanitizer. And then next I have kind of my possibles pouch with the first aid kit. So first aid kit, possibles pouch, which is anything from super glue, uh, tenacious tape, stuff like that. And we'll get into the bag. So what I have kind of on top flat against my back in here. This is my food bag and inside my food bag I also keep my stove. Just have this in a cheap little ditty bag. This is an MSR reactor. <clears throat> and I'll keep a spare pair of socks and a merino shirt from Bormi. This is a long sleeve with a hood. Inside the bag I have a so, Thermarest pad that was cut into a seat. I have a Sitka hoodie in here. I'm always rolling with the uh, Lost Park parka, so no matter the conditions, I generally just will take this. It's uh, kind of my go to for puffy gear. Looks like I had a spare bag of food in there. And finish off the gear inside the bag. I have my uh, sleeping bag in a medium five string stuff sack. So I have a sleeping bag in here. It's a uh, Western Mountaineering 20 degree bag, super tarp, um, Thermarest X Therm pad, and a cocoon pillow. So you can see it's a pretty compact package that all fits in there really well. And in the uh, front here I have a small belt pouch just have a stair pen in there and on the opposite side I have a water bottle so that is my gear list